Lady Gaga just posted a makeup routine on the Sephora YouTube channel and today I am going to be following it and doing exactly everything that Lady Gaga is doing in that video on my own face. If you like these kind of following celebrity makeup tutorials videos then please give this a thumbs up and also feel free to subscribe if you want to, you don't have to but I would love it if you did. Stephanie. Show us what you got. We will place Lady Gaga right here. She is doing a full face of house labs. I don't have a full face of house labs, but I do have the foundation and I have some other similar products and it's more about her techniques that are slightly different from usual. Hi everybody, this is Lady Gaga and I'm so excited for you to get ready with me. We are going to do a full face of house labs today. We're gonna get started with our Triclone Skin Tech Concealer in shade 11. That is such a complicated concealer name. The Triclone Skin Tech Concealer. It sounds like something from the future. I'm using the coast this one today and I've got the shade 03W. I'm gonna start under the eyes and then I'm going to take the tip of the applicator and I'm just gonna kind of put it wherever I see redness on the face. That is a lot of concealer under the eyes. And then I go into areas that I want to brighten even more. She has done some crazy little patterns on her face, but do everything that she did. Oh my god, you can see how much this concealer oxidizes, because look at that on my chin compared to everywhere else. You know what? Because this is oxidized so much, I'm just going to grab a lighter concealer quickly. I'm actually going to use the Rare Beauty one. Battle of the Pop Queens. This is in 170W, just because that is actually a brightening kind of shade. Yeah, first thought, she uses a lot of concealer, actually, for somebody whose skin looks near perfect. Now I take our brush for concealer. It's a beautiful, beautiful brush that is shaped like a finger. Again, I have the Rare Beauty version of this brush that is supposed to be shaped like a finger and she kind of swipes the concealer. I don't really see her patting it like this. She's mostly like swiping it. Yeah, this is already so much product. Like this is probably enough for me to just use this as foundation. This concealer has biotech caffeine in it, which is deep puffs. This concealer has biotech caffeine in it. <laughs> that just sounded so funny to me. I feel like she probably got the word wrong and then had to edit over it. I'm just using a bigger brush. Funnily enough, this one's from Fenty Beauty. Wait, wait, which pop queen does not have a makeup brand? Because we've got Rihanna Fenty Beauty, we've got Selena Gomez Rare Beauty, Lady Gaga House Labs, we've got Ariana Grande R.E.M. Beauty, Taylor Swift, I'm looking at you, you're next. Actually, I think Beyonce's coming out with a makeup brand at some point, or like skincare. Or maybe I've just made that up, I don't know. Interesting that she doesn't use a primer though. What's next? Also, the fermented arnica that's in the concealer is helping reduce my redness while I wear it. <laughs> okay, cool. So now I'm just gonna take my fingers. Oh. And lightly press that in. So you see, I've just brightened up my whole face. The swiping motion stressed me out, I'm not gonna lie. She does a lot of like swiping in this. I mean, it obviously works for her because she looks great, but for me, like swiping products around just kind of moves it all about and takes off a lot of the coverage, but okay. Also, the more that you swipe your makeup about, the more likely you are to get like it sort of balling up and going a bit patchy. I mean, there's nothing wrong with using your hands, but I feel like swiping movement is maybe not the best. But that's just me, that's my personal preference, you know? Everyone has different tastes. I'm gonna be using now our Triclone Skin Tech Foundation in shade 110. And I want you to see just how amazing the payoff is on the skin. Do you see now how we're getting that medium coverage and this is buildable so you can mm -hmm. layer it more and more. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Again, she's kind of swiping this all over her face. I've got the shade 120 Light Warm. She takes it straight onto a brush. The problem that I find with obviously swiping on my foundation is when you have perfectly clear skin, I mean like this side of my face is pretty clear at the moment, then it's fine. But any areas that you want to cover, like if you have any acne or acne scarring, if you swipe on the products, it's just gonna wipe off all the coverage, which is kind of what it's just done on this side of my face. I've got to say though, I love this foundation. It has got such a nice finish and it does look so natural on the skin. It's really glowy. I'm just gonna pat a tiny bit more of this onto this side of my face where I need a bit more coverage. I am definitely gonna have to bring some bronzer down my neck because this is not my shade. I'm also gonna put some foundation on my body just to even out the face with the chest. Okay, I'm not gonna obviously put any on my body because I don't need to do that because it, uh, I've got a t-shirt on. But what I will do at this stage is let's bring some down my neck. Try not to get it on my t-shirt. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some warmth back in the face and I'm gonna use our Power Sculpt Velvet Bronzer. Nice. This is shade Light Level 4. And I like to start actually by just tapping my brush here. I give it a little blow. And then I start sort of on the outside and work almost in a straight line in, which I know is not how everybody does it, but I like to start my contour sort of towards the nose and then I bring okay. it down. Okay, I do find it interesting how she goes on top of her wet foundation with a powder bronzer. She said it's like a powder gel formula. Something that I had that reminded me of these is the Diego Della Palma 
bronzer. I've got the shade, it's the Hydra Butter Bronzing Powder. I've got the shade 61, I think is the shade name. And she says she does like a straight line inwards like this. So just like sweeping it across sideways. I don't know if this is gonna like the foundation. And then she brings it down, like down here. Oh no, it's basically just taking off all the coverage from that. <laughs> she has the most incredible cheekbones, I've got to say. Just her jawline under her chin. I think that shape is working for me nicely. Then I just go in at the end and I just go ham. Goes ham with the bronzer, which I love because I also love a bit of bronzer. But I would imagine that if she had any spots like this and this where the coverage had been removed, I would have thought that she would go in and fix them. So I am going to do that, even though she obviously doesn't have to do that step, but I'm going to do that. Otherwise, that's really going to bug me. The bronzer's actually gone on surprisingly nicely over the top of that wet foundation, other than obviously taking off the coverage on my spots. So now I'm actually going to go in with some blush, but I'm gonna make our blush today using some high power pigment paint. This okay. is shade Blush Matte. The fact that it's called Blush Matte makes me think that it's like a blushy shade anyway. And I'm gonna do something fun that I love to do, which is I'm gonna use our shade 000 Fair Neutral. It's a white foundation, and I'm gonna mix just one pump on my hand with this blush matte. That blush matte paint looks so light in itself anyway. I feel like you don't need to mix it with white foundation, otherwise it's just gonna be pretty much non-existent, no? I'm gonna take a little bit of the white on my finger by itself. And I'm actually gonna put it on the highest points on my face just to add a glow without using any pearl. That is an interesting tip. So I'm gonna take a white concealer because I don't have a white foundation. And just taking a little bit of this on my finger, and it just swipes this onto the cheekbones for a highlight which isn't shimmery. What do we think? Does that make a difference? Yeah, that definitely has made a little bit of a difference. So now I'm gonna take my finger and I'm just gonna make our blush on my hand. This is packed with plant squalane, which is so good for your face. I'm just gonna put it here on the apples of my cheeks as well as the high point. Okay, I am actually gonna take some of this NYX Powder Puff Lippy in the shade Best Buds, because it looks kind of similar to the color that she was using. And I'm gonna, how does this come out? Come on. I'm gonna take some of this on the back of my hand and then a little bit of my white concealer like that and then mix these together. There we go. Is that similar or is that, mm, actually? Crap guys, I think I've made it too light. That's too light, in it? I'll give it a try, but oh no, that's too light and too pink. Let's take some more. That's better. Okay, in the tube, this looked like it was gonna come out a bit more peachy if I mixed it with white, but I feel like it's a bit too pink. So I'm just gonna cheat and add a tiny bit of this red. This is in the shade Bliss, which I actually think is a lot closer to the shade that Lady Gaga has used. And now I feel like I'm a bit too blushy, but I guess the good thing is because nothing is set yet, I can go back in with my concealer brush and just blend that out a bit. The powder and the cream isn't mixing that great together, but I'm assuming that their formula of bronzer is a lot more creamy than what I have, so. I'm going to go in though with our Bio Radiant Gel Highlighter. This is in shade Peach Quartz. So I'm gonna apply the Bio Radiant Gel Highlighter now with my fingers. I'm just gonna go on the cheekbone. You see how beautiful that glow is? Not patchy. Again, it looks stunning, but again, the swiping is just throwing me off. So I'm gonna take this one from the Beauty Bay Peachy Glow Highlighter Palette, which is the shade Haze from the palette. And I can't bring myself to swipe it. I just can't do it. So I know that that is not gonna work well for me. Unless like the idea is that I'm trying to mix it with the cream. It just feels so unnatural to me. But I guess I've kind of like mixed that all together. That actually looks really nice. You can go down the nose if you want. Ooh, love me a nose highlighter. Although my nose feels so different without any bronzer contour on it. I feel like my nose is looking so flat today. I like to put a little in the height of my brow bone, sort of like an eyeshadow, little here, and a little, of course, on your cute. Oh, well. okay. Some on the chin, and then a bit on the upper lip. This side is looking good. This side I feel like is looking a bit. Mm, a little bit patchy. Now I'm gonna take rose quartz and use it a little bit. That blush. looks beautiful. And this I think is one of the ones that I actually swatched in store and I debated getting it or not, but at the time I'd not seen really anybody talk about them because we didn't have house labs in the UK yet. Just to tie the look together, I'm going to take this beautiful oh. peach quartz. So I'm gonna take this one, again from that same Beauty Bay palette. This one is the shade Heach. She just goes over. Kind of like the blush and the bronzer to tie it all in together. Oh, that is a glowy cheek. Look at that. Nice, I feel like that's what it needed. So now I'm going to start the eyes and I'm going to use our amazing high power pigment paint again in beige matte. 
So I'm gonna put some on my hand. I'm gonna use the P. Louise base for this in Rumor 01. Isn't there supposed to be a nib? The nib has just come off in the lid. And take a brush like this and just smooth it over the eyes as a primer. I am going to take some of my bronzer with that same brush and I'm just gonna carve out my crease. You can do as much or as little of this as you want. Ooh, this bronze is working really nice as an eyeshadow. I honestly always do my makeup how I feel in the moment. Let me zoom you in. I'm gonna pull that out just a little bit. See, just to create that line right there. And it just lengthens out the eyes. Okay, now I wanna keep amplifying this look a little bit more. So I'm going to be using this pigment paint in Cocoa Matte and also Yay! rose gold shimmer. I know that a lot of people love eye paints. I am just so bad at applying them. I think that's what it is. Like I can't quite get the hang of them, but you bet I will give it my best shot. And I'm just gonna use a little bit on my hand, this teeny tiniest little bit. Tiny, tiny, tiny amount. I'm gonna take the same brush. I'm just gonna blend it into my crease. And sometimes just to ah, give it some really, really good dark. warmth play time, I just use my finger to blend it out quickly. And I just start to cut the crease a little bit on the side. And it's okay to mess up. You can always fix it. Why did I find that so stressful to watch? I'm gonna, just because I know that I'm not gonna be able to do this. And I feel like that looked like it was quite difficult to work with. This is the shade Shady Business from Mitchell. It's one of the blushes. Her shade definitely does look a little bit darker. So I might, we'll see how we go with this. I might take another shade, but I'm just gonna take a tiny bit on the brush like, like she did. She starts putting this into the crease. And she wings it out as well. I'm not sure how this is gonna go over the top of powder because it is like a cream. What I like is that she says, if you mess up, don't worry, because you can always clean it up, which I also kind of agree with. I will definitely need to do it on that side because that has dipped a bit too low. I'm gonna take this eye stick from Vive, which is the shade Coffee, which is like a slightly darker brown. I'm just gonna do exactly the same. Why does one side always go so much better than the other side? Oh, I'm going to use another one of our gel powder highlighters in Chocolate Opal. Ooh, I love the design on that in the pan. That looks so cool. I'm actually going to use this shade from my Revolution Highlighter Palette. And I'm going to use this fluffy brush and just work it in to that same sort of creased area just to give it some extra shine. I'm now going to take our Rose Shimmer. Just put a little bit on the hand, put some on your finger, and pop it in the center of the lid. I was literally just trying to open this, but I was trying to open it wrong, and in the process, I sliced my own thumb with my fingernail. Like, ow. And I don't even think I want to use this one anyway, I've now decided, because this looks a bit too peachy. This is so bougie, but it's the closest thing in my collection that I could find. It is the Hourglass Scattering Light Glitter Reflect eyeshadow, which looks like a similar shade. Oh my God, I can't even get my finger in there because of these bloody fingernails. I've just had to dig some out and put it on the back of my hand. Love it. I love makeup. All right. That is so pretty, but it's not quite giving the same level of metallic. The House Labs one looks stunning, but ironically, I got rid of a lot of my rose gold eyeshadows in my recent declutter because I just wasn't using them enough. Luckily, I kept this one though. I'm going to take our concealer again to do something else that our concealer does, which is clean up. So I'm going to... So a little line of concealer under her eyeshadow. And then again, we swipe that out. Swoop. May as well use the excess under my eyes. That is a really good tip to make everything look clean and just swoop it out, swoop it out, swipe it out, swipe off. I don't know. Okay, now I'm going to sharpen up the eye using our Optic Intensity Eagle Liner in Deep Cocoa Matte, and I'm going to apply it to my lash line. This is the Maybelline Tattoo Liner Smoky Brown, I think it is. Half the writing has come off because I keep this in my handbag, and it has a little smudger on the end, so. I'm gonna extend it along the line that I just cleaned up, flip it over where there's a brush and just blend away. She very boldly just draws a line with the pencil and then takes a little brush on the side of hers to sort of smudge it all out. I don't know how much of that cut out because I was concentrating, but it's actually very difficult to make a decent looking wing with a pencil, especially a blunt pencil. <laughs> will that do? I don't know if that will do. And then I'm gonna go inside the eye in the waterline. And I always make a funny face when I do this. The creasing under my eyes right now should be illegal. The second I do that, I just look like a different person. I'm gonna create a little bit of a point, like a little teardrop in the center of where my eye shape meets here. Blend it out carefully. So I just put on some mascara off camera to see where my look is and I think I just love it. Okay, I need to go put on some mascara as well. The liner on her waterline looks a lot more intense than mine does. Let's do some mascara, but it doesn't look like she's put any on her lower lashes yet. 
I'm just looking at myself in the mirror thinking, why do I look so weird? One, it's the waterline, but two, it's because I've not done my eyebrows. Lady Gaga has definitely started this off with something in her eyebrows. I will do that after we've powdered, otherwise things will get messy. Before I put on my lipstick though, I'm going to use our setting powder. Hallelujah. That is exactly what I need because my under eyes are very creased. Oh, she's just using a big fluffy brush. Just re-blending the concealer so I don't set my creases into place. She's just swiping it on. I'm gonna dab over my spot. Right, I'm just gonna do my eyebrows quickly because I look very strange. Now to finish off my look, I'm going to start by using our eyeliner as a lip liner in shade Deep Cocoa Matte. I like to use this as a lip liner because it's so creamy. Right, I can do that. Use my dark brown lip pencil as lip liner. It's very, very dark. Lip liner's done. And it comes with a little brush on the other Ooh. side. It's also long wear, so now it's definitely not moving. Oh God, I let it dry for too long. That is not gonna blend out unless I rub it all off again. So we'll just hope that the lipstick covers it. Instead, we're gonna use our Atomic Shake Lip Lacquer in sepia. I love this color so much. It's perfect for fall. And I'm just gonna apply it to the lip in an even coat. Nice, then she waits for it to dry. I don't have these, however, I have the dupe for them. The dupe is the Maybelline Vinyl Superstay Ink Things. I've got the shade 95 Captivated because hers looks like a brownie toned nude. Oh, actually, hers is definitely a lot more orangey toned than this. Let me just put this on and I might go over it as something else. Uh, let's just try and cover up that really dark lip liner. But these are the same kind of thing, like they will stay all day and stay shiny. It looks a bit gray with that lip liner underneath. I'm just gonna wait for this to dry and then I might put a more like orangey toned color over the top of it because this is way cooler than what Lady Gaga is wearing. I've got to say though, while this is drying, the eyes actually turned out really nice. I think they look really cool, even though it was different techniques that I'm not used to and it was kind of like funny orders of stuff like putting powders and creams in the wrong order and creams on top of powders. It was just like very different, but it actually turned out really cool looking, I think. It looks nice. I'm gonna try putting this over the top, which is the Kai Highly high gloss in Partner in Crime, which is kind of like an orangey toned brown nude instead of like a gray tone. I think that's a little bit better. It still looks crazy because of the brown lip liner underneath, but my lips right now look like a blow up doll. All done. Let me show you my final look. Okay, transition, Lady Gaga. I hope you like my final look. Thank you so much for getting ready with me. I love you all so much. And I have to give a ton of credit to all the influencers all over these platforms. You guys do this all day long, three times a day, four times a day. You're amazing at it. And I thank you so much for supporting me. <coughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Three times a day, four times a day. I've got to say Lady Gaga, I do not know a single influencer that is putting their makeup on three or four times a day. Actually, I used to do that. I used to film like three videos a day, but then I guess it was probably like different steps of my makeup. There definitely have been times where I've taken my makeup on and off three or four times a day, but I feel like that's very rare. Oh, she's so cute. She looks incredible. This is how my finished look turned out. I really like the eyes. I think they look very sultry, very bronzy. I love how they're cleaned up with concealer. Oh wait, I never did lower lash line mascara, but I don't actually think she did either. The skin is glowy. The powder obviously took away a lot of that glow, but you can still see a lot of the glow coming through. I personally would add more blush and I would do a bit of contouring to my nose and I would do things in a different order because it was a little bit like powders mixing with creams, which doesn't quite work for me, but it obviously works for her. She looks incredible. And I I've not tried the specific products that she was using, so it's probably down to that. But yeah, that was definitely an interesting one. If you guys have got any other celebrity makeup routines that you would like me to follow, let me know. Although I feel like I've done a lot of them at this point. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I think I just got lip gloss all over my teeth. And if you watch my videos quite a lot, I would love it if you subscribed, that would be amazing. And I hope you guys are doing good. I will see you in my next video. Bye.